Tesla's Q2 2025 update offers an exciting glimpse into the company's operations, revealing how its ambitious plans for AI, autonomy and next-gen vehicles like the Cybercab and Optimus Robot are driving innovation and growth, and quite frankly solving the biggest problems whilst providing the best products. We'll hear more about Tesla's successful robo-taxi launch in Austin, its growing energy business, upcoming more affordable models that are about to ramp, and much, much more. So let's start here. Tesla's Q2 2025 update summary. Q2 2025 was a seminal point in Tesla's history, the beginning of our transition from leading the electric vehicle and renewable energy industries to also becoming a leader in AI, robotics and related services. Our first robotaxi service launched in Austin in June. While the service is limited in initial scope, we believe our approach to autonomy, a camera-only architecture with neural networks trained on data from our global fleet of millions of vehicles allows us to continually improve safety, rapidly scale the network and improve profitability. We continue to expand our vehicle offering, including first builds of a more affordable model in June, with volume production planned for the second half of 2025. That's now, by the way. Additionally, we continue development of our Semi and Cybercab, both slated for volume production in 2026. That's surely going to have an impact on finances, isn't it? The energy business is more critical than ever. The availability of clean, reliable energy is necessary for economic growth and an imperative for the development and commercialization of AI-enabled products and services. As electricity demand grows, our Megapack product helps to increase utilisation of existing generation and transmission capacity, resulting in a more efficient use of the electric grid. When paired with solar PV, Megapack is most competitive with traditional fossil fuel generation assets and can be deployed four times faster than traditional fossil fuel plants of the same capacity. Trailing 12-month energy storage deployments achieve their 12th consecutive quarterly record. Tesla Energy is growing tremendously. Despite a sustained, uncertain macroeconomic environment resulting from shifting tariffs, unclear impacts from changes to fiscal policy and political sentiment, we continue to make high-value investments in capital expenditure and research and development, while ensuring a strong balance sheet. Our priorities remain the same, delivering affordable and compelling autonomy-capable models that maximise our global fleet of vehicles as our autonomy software continues to rapidly progress, growing the energy business and advancing our robotics efforts. These results were largely in line with the cautious outlook amidst Tesla's pivot to AI and robotics, but clearly Tesla are building the foundations of a truly epic future, with more than enough income, profitability and cash on hand to do whatever they please. But I still pinch myself to realise that Tesla have launched our robo-taxi service in Austin. Such a long time coming, but they're flipping done it and it's going really well. And the reason we know it's going very well is because it's almost boring at this point. If you just take a ride in the hundreds, if not thousands of YouTube videos out there now, where Tesla enthusiasts have gone out there and taken rides, nothing much spectacular is happening. You're just getting in a car and being driven to your destination. No drama, no concern. It's as big coming as normal as getting into a lift and pressing a button. Tesla also delivered their first customer vehicle fully autonomously. This was a massive moment earlier in the year, and they've deployed their first mega packs from their new mega pack factory in Shanghai. Right, let's get to some of Elon's opening remarks where he discussed the robo taxi launch and of course the first paying customers and it's expanded already to a bigger and longer version of where it started and uh, will be well in excess of competitors area in approximately two weeks from now. This phallic symbol is going to engulf the world. Regulatory approval is underway for the California Bay Area and Florida as well. So they're the next areas that are going to see RoboTaxi's launch. Expect autonomous ride hailing to be available to half of the population of the US by the end of the year. Now, the rapid scale of this even surprises me, to be honest. By the end of the year, half the population of the US. But I guess geographically, where you have the most people live, you might be able to get RoboTaxi's in operation. But by the end of the year, whew, that seems ambitious, doesn't it? And of course, at this small level of the RoboTaxi rollout, they're being extremely cautious, which is, of course, a good thing. They don't want to run before they can walk. But once it's tried and tested and they have all the data, it will increase at an exponential rate. 
The Model Y is also still the best-selling car in many countries. Um, autonomy is a big factor to that, even with supervised self-driving. So and, you know, a lot of people don't even know that cars that Teslas can come with self-driving software, do they? Um, but you know, plenty of people are picking up on it, and it's still a selling point. Elon thinks that Europe sales will improve significantly with full self-driving, um, which is also close for approval with the Netherlands then the EU, but will get approvals most of Europe this year, partly this quarter, which is another massive surprise. But here we have a photo of it being tested around London. Now, you know, we all knew that this, this was happening at some point. It really is just how quickly it can roll out and how quickly the regulators are going to finally allow this life-saving technology. Production release of FSD is also several releases behind. So what the customers get at the moment, you know, Tesla can already see into the future and where it's heading. But as Tesla sees it, autonomy is the story. It will add value to stratospheric levels. Value in all sorts of ways as well, not just for Tesla's income. Profit margins, the fact that you'll be able to make money for me Robo Taxi too, once you add it to the network. But also the value it'll add in giving people their time back. Time is, after all, the ultimate currency being chauffeured around in your autonomous Tesla might just allow you to work on more valuable things in life. The Tesla Diner also got worldwide attention, which uh, you know, even surprised Elon by the sounds of it. But he did describe it, I thought this was beautiful, as a shiny beacon of hope in a somewhat bleak landscape. I've got a video coming out about that soon. And a few more thoughts on the stunning Tesla Diner. What a beautiful place it is. Anyway, right. Now, I wrote this down, but I've no idea what it means. Think 10 times the parameter count choke bandwidth. <laughs> I, what are you choking now? Um, yeah, some things are above me in these earnings calls. That's one of them. <laughs> Energy is still growing despite headwinds of tariffs. There's been a record power wall deployment. Not many people appreciate the scale of battery products. Batteries can double energy output for the US. Now, this is really important. So energy is produced on uh, demand at the moment, isn't it? It's just wasted. It's not constantly providing 100% of energy and then going out to people's homes or businesses. It's currently just not stored. And that's exactly what batteries are doing. They utilize energy generation and then store it for later use. So if a country's energy production is being wasted, all you need to do is create the same amount of energy, but store that energy for later use, and you've just doubled your energy output. Marvellous. Elon also mentioned that he's been in the design studio, and uh, yeah, I thought they were working on um, the roads to two. To be honest, there's uh, the, well, I can't remember what he said about it being one of the most epic demos there's ever going to be. We're assuming this flying car at some point is going to be with us with the SpaceX package, which is going to allow a sub zero to 60 of less than one second using SpaceX's technology of cold gas thrusters. Now, whether that's what he was talking about in the design studio or whether he was talking about this, Optimus robot, the next generation, is evolving to a phenomenal design, apparently. Exquisite design, in Elon's words. And it will be the biggest product ever. Every part of Optimus is also designed by Tesla from first principles. Elon also remarked that Tesla has far greater real-world AI than Google Tesla has better intelligence density. Now, intelligence density is how much thinking power, like problem-solving or decision-making ability, is packed into a given system, in this case, Optimus's head. Now, by the end of year, prototypes of Optimus Generation 3 will be revealed and will scale as quickly as possible. Elon sounded extremely excited about this. One million units a year within five years certainly seems achievable. And this is where things get proper weird, isn't it? OK, let's quickly move on before I digress. He also mentioned that Grok 4 is an absolutely giant beast with extreme intelligence density. And Elon summarises 2025 as very exciting. Major milestones have been achieved. Progress in autonomy. Tesla has done what we said we would do. And there are plenty of eggs on the faces of naysayers. They may not be on time, but we get it done. Absolutely cracking progress by the Tesla team. Elon closes these remarks with, if Tesla continues to execute well with autonomy, Optimus, etc., Tesla has a shot at becoming the most valuable company in the world. Incredibly exciting future. Not financial advice, but this seems to be a massive understatement to me. It's going to be epic. Next up, we have the CFO's 
remarks, it took time, but we've just begun the next phase of the company. Now, just lingering on this for a second, when everyone thought that Tesla was an electric car company and you know possibly a battery company, the, the major pivot came when they decided that they weren't going to be aiming at 20 million cars per year. They weren't going to be making the Model 2 and all that. They were pivoting towards AI and robotics. And this is exactly what V is remarking to here. It took time, but we've begun the next phase of the company. It's extremely exciting time. He went on to discuss the successful Model Y ramp and the Austin Robo Taxi and the self-delivery of the first Model Y, but also discussed the one big bill, the uh, repeal of the EV credit that will have an impact. But now, of course, is a very good time to buy a Tesla if you're in America and the $7,500 EV credit is going to disappear from all electric cars by the end of the year. And I think this is also partly the reason why they've not rushed out the more affordable Teslas just yet. They want to get rid of the more expensive cars first of all before bringing in the lower price ones. There's been a global increase in Tesla test drives and uh, the lower cost vehicles ramp will happen next quarter for new models, plural there, but focuses on delivering vehicles before EV tax credit expires. Oh yeah, that says it far more concisely than me. Full self-driving in cars is now 10 times safer than a human. Now, would you rather put your children in the hands of a taxi driver or whoever, or would you put them in a car that's 10 times safer? This will become more apparent and more obvious with time. Tesla's full self-driving is the solution to fewer accidents, fewer road deaths. That, above anything else, is the most important aspect here. Energy margins also grew and have the highest gross profits yet. A massive sleeping giant of Tesla's company is its Tesla Energy division. And they are investing in the future, expecting a capex of $9 billion. Oh, I want to remind myself here, uh, which is going to be expanding production facilities, the development of new vehicles like the Cybercab, scale up AI and autonomy technologies for projects like Optimus and Robotaxi. And finally, we get to the Q&A from investors. Elon said that they are very excited excited for the future of Tesla's, the fundamental transformation from pre to post autonomy. Full self-driving for personal use, likely by the end of the year, but they are of course being extremely paranoid about getting this right. They don't want to deploy it to millions of people and then find out they've got critical flaws in it. <laughs> and Tesla cars are also likely to deliver themselves to customers by the end of the year in Austin and the California Bay Area. When asked about Optimus, if we are not making 100,000 per month in five years, I'd be surprised. Of course, Tesla are putting everything in place, the manufacturing capabilities to, to build millions of Optimus robots. So they see exactly what they are planning and mapping out for the future of Tesla. So I wouldn't be surprised either if we're not seeing those sort of numbers. When asked about the design studio, Franz jumped into the call and said, what happens in the design studio stays in the design studio. Lots of excitement there. Oh, goodness me, wouldn't it be fun to just be a fly on the wall and see what happens in there? Hopefully products we can't even imagine are also there. Elon is uh, also working on a new master plan for a post-autonomous world, which will profoundly change the world. And when asked whether Hardware 3 Tesla users will be able to have full self-driving working on their cars, of course they are working on the unsupervised for the Hardware 4 version first and then go back and see what they can do for Hardware 3. Obviously it's in Tesla's interest to make autonomy work on Hardware 3, but worst case scenario, they have said that they will be able to upgrade to Hardware 4. Although that's not an entirely easy task, as I do believe you have to replace all the cameras and all the wire harnessing within them, as well as the computer. We shall see. Dojo 2 should be operating at scale by next year. Elon called the AI5 a spectacular chip. Now on to the Q&A from the analysts. When asked about the Cybercab, Elon discussed the cost per mile being extremely optimised for the Cybercab. So possibly down to just 25 cents per mile, which would be so far ahead of any competitors, it's it's ridiculous. Robotaxi will have a meaningful impact on finances by the end of next year. Elon also said confidently that next year, Tesla owners will be able to add their car to the Robotaxi network, but will need Tesla validation before customer cars are added. Now, this kind of makes sense, doesn't it? To make sure that the cars are up to scratch, the tyres aren't bold or whatever, that 
I don't know, it's clean and safe. But I guess Tesla will already have the uh, ability to, to check in on cars just from its own cameras and its ability to see when the tyres were last rotated or replaced. But yeah, I guess that's a, an obvious but a new thing that Tesla will have to validate uh, before customer cars are added. And another reminder that a Tesla on full self-driving is 10 times safer than a human. And even if it costs $100 per month, you've got to realise you're paying for a personal chauffeur at that point. How much do you value your time again? Full self-driving take rate is up 25% from version 12 to version 13. But here's something that absolutely stunned me. 50% of Tesla owners in the USA haven't tried FSD, but it gets worse than that. I do believe that 50% of people that have bought Tesla's FSD haven't even tried it. That is bonkers. And of course, the value of your Tesla when you can release your car to the fleet and make money from it, the affordability becomes far greater at that point. And uh, I've got the words dancing cat. Can I remember why I've got the words dancing cat? Of course, Elon remarked that it's a bit like having a cat at home, but it can sing and it can dance. But no one's actually seen this singing dancing cat. You ha actually have to see it first to believe it. That in a nutshell, it's a weird way of, uh, of explaining what it's like when you have a fully autonomous car at your fingertips. You know, like the one sat in my driveway in the UK right now, a fully functioning autonomous robo-taxi in waiting. Look, I couldn't be more excited for the future. Tesla are delivering the most incredible products and services and pushing towards a sustainable energy future. The robo-taxi rollout is underway. Teslas will soon be delivering themselves, as we've already seen one lucky customer receive. Tesla energy is growing. Cybercabs and Optimus Gen 3 are just around the corner. What a time to be alive and witness as Tesla takes on the world. What are you most excited about from this earnings call? Do let me know in the comments below. Here's a video that YouTube thinks you'll like next. I'm Will. This is the Tesla Jigsaw. Thank you, Patreons. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.